20 minutes after taking the bus from my school, I arrive at the neighboring town of Shinto across the bridge. Miyama City is a residential, uh, residential district, so there's no part-time jobs there. The developing Shinto has many available. The school approves of students having part-time jobs, so I work a few easy ones. I prefer hard physical labor that ends as quickly as possible. It's killing two birds with one stone, as it builds my body while I get paid for it. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it. <clears throat> Today's job is a simple loading job from 5 to 8 o'clock. Even though it's only 3 hours, there's 6 hours worth of work to do. It'll make you run around without a minute's rest. So I should rest when I can, even if it's just for 10 minutes. It's a waste of energy walking around until my job, so I guess I'll rest, I'll rest in the park. This park among the buildings is like a big field. The park should uh, be filled with people like families and lovers or on weekends, but it's empty here now. No. This place is always desolate. I'm a bit sad. The utterly neglected ground looks awful compared to the neatly organized surroundings. The desolate area makes the wind feel cold. This is the remains of the conflagration ten years ago, and this is the place where I was saved from burning to death. It's a large area, so if they retiled it, the park would get bigger. Think, thinking absentmindedly, I sit down on the bench. I stare at the burned land to pass the time. I don't remember what happened here back then. All I can remember is that it was hot and I couldn't breathe. And that people died trying to save others. For example, an adult that tried to save a child from a burning house. He saved the child, but died in its place. For example, there are people who had their throats burned, but they gave what little water they had to one guy and the others died. For example, there was someone who ran alone to get away from the fire as fast as possible, and everyone he passed on the way died. And for example, people who died because they gave away something that was saving them, only to save others they didn't even know. I didn't like things like that. It makes me mad that those who tried hard were sacrificed. Am I greedy to want an ending where everybody is safe and happy? All I wanted was to see people relax peacefully. So why couldn't I manage such a simple thing? Which is a pipe dream. Kiyosugu answered so the question I asked as a child. Of course as a child I, I denied it. Because Kiyosugu saved me. I knew he was a sorcerer who could do anything. I knew he was a superhero who couldn't ignore people in need, who saved them for no benefit. So I believed Kiyosugu could have saved everyone back then. But I told him that, he made a troubled expression and said something that I remember to this day. Shiro. <sighs> I understand that. It's obvious now that he said it. Let's say there's a robber and some hostages, and the robber intends to kill the hostages. 
With normal methods, most of the hostages would be killed. Even if you use a, mir a miraculous method to save all the hostages, there'll still be one person who isn't saved. That, of course, is a robber whose hostages were rescued. The people a superhero saves are only those he decides to save. That's why even God cannot save everyone. The fire ten years ago was like that. It's not something I, who was miraculously saved from it, can talk about now. I don't want such a thing. I don't want help that has a limited capacity. You have to help no matter how impossible it is. I can't stand to have strangers dying around me like back then. So if I had been there 10 years ago, even if it was impossible, I would have gone to the fire and... It's sad but true. That's for certain. Jeez, I'm hopeless. The five o'clock bell rings. I stand up and quickly make my way to work. But my job's done, the sun is already set. It's a bit before eight. I finished ten minutes early because I worked too hard. It seems I worked frantically since I went to that place before work. Here yeah, in front of the station, the night's just getting started. There are lots of people and a constant flow of cars on the road. I walk by looking up the lighted building. It's the bu uh, biggest building in Shinto, so I can't see the top clearly. I just gaze up the building, just enjoying the night's scenery. Hmm? When I think I see something out of place... I stop and stare at the rooftop. I focus my eyes, looking at the thing as small as a grain of rice. Hmm. It looks like someone I know. That is... Like, even if you're not, like, seeing her full features, that's still some incredible eyesight to realize, Hey, I know that person. Like, from that far down? Why is she there? Or no, he can tell. What'd she be doing there? With her long hair fluttering and doing nothing, she looks down at the town. She's Batman. It doesn't seem like she notices me down here. Oh, she notices. No, there's no way she could see me. And there's no way you could see her. Yet here we are. She's so high up that I, with better eyesight than most, can barely see her by improving my vision with magical energy. Oh yeah, that makes sense, doesn't yeah? Yeah, right. can recognize her since she's standing there alone. There's no way she would notice me down here among all these people. She's just looking down at the town. Maybe she's looking for something, as I can feel her sharp stare even down here. <clears throat> hmm. I forget about time, I keep looking up at the girl standing in the sky. She's on top of a tall tower. She's like a witch, looking down at the earth with the moon behind her. And then... She must be done with whatever she was doing, and she disappears. Her figure has disappeared, and the scene returns to the beautiful view of the night sky. Or beautiful view of the night. I have no proof, but I think I'm right.
There aren't many girls with looks that stand out that much. And more than that, I'm not stupid enough to mistake a girl I secretly admire. So gone. Well, it's... Looks like I share a strange hobbies. Yeah, standing on the roof of a tall building. A little, a little out there. Not the weirdest thing I've ever heard of, but... I'm like Shinto, there's no one in me on my city. After 8 o'clock, there are no people around, and the town is terribly quiet. At the junction is the house I saw this morning. There's no sign of people, and the door has a do not enter sign. After only one day, the house is as quiet as an abandoned building. Parents and older sister killed by the burglar. What kind of life remains with the child left behind? I bite my lip, feeling powerless. Even if they're swearing to become like Kiritsugu, I can't do anything about something that happens so close by. Even though I want to help someone, in the end, I don't even know what I can do. I climb the hill and reach the Emiya house. The lights are still on, so Sakura or Fujine must still be there. Oh, just you. Fujine turns around and munching on, munch on a rice cracker. The TV shows a loud variety show. He was working, lady. And then stared at a girl for like 10 minutes, but besides that. だから早く帰ってきてるだろ。8時までのバイトを選んでるんだから、これ以上無茶言わないでくれ。で、桜はどうしたんだよ。なんか晩飯の支度だけはできてるみたいだけど。桜ちゃんなら早めに帰ったわ
Hold on, this is an army recruiting poster. I. Sorry, I don't know how to do it. Hey, okay, okay. I don't know how to do it. I roll up the poster and hit Fujine with it. Yeah, it's. It's fair. <laughs> but Fujine deflects my attack with a poster she had hidden and counterattacks him mercilessly. Bam. The poster lightly knocks my <laughs> Fujine, you cheater. Stars. I saw stars. <laughs> シロの腕で私に当てようなんて甘いわよ。悔しかったらもうちょっと腕を磨きなさいね。そんな問題じゃないだろう今の。なぜに紙のポスターが通うのは破壊音を。Could this be the skill of a master? Uh, not quite. Um. こっちのポスター初回得点版なんで豪華鉄板仕様だったシロ、頭大丈夫？Of course it isn't。フジネ、いつか絶対に人を殺すぞ。その性格。へへ、その時はシロがお嫁にもらってくれるから安心かな。I don't think he would. I mean, he might, because he's just the kind of guy that would do that. But. Wow.。私そんな物騒なのじゃないと思う。I mean. やっぱり。えでしてそういう連中は自覚がないっていうのは本当だったのか。how true, how true. I'll have to watch out or I'll be killed. Wait, you actually waited? That's odd. Fujine stands up. How strange. Fujine is helping out, even if it's only setting up the dishes. She must be really hungry. はい、はい。じゃあ、フジネはサラドちゃんはな。ご飯ぐらいつけるだろう。つけるよ。ね、シロ。私丼でいいかな。ああ、行こうフォー。いいんじゃないか。今日は桜もいないし、どうせ飯
I run, run, keep running. In the end, where I end up is how I'm saved after running out of energy. I wake up with a bad feeling. I feel my forehead and found that I'm sweating a lot, even though it's winter. Ah, it's already past six o'clock. That's odd for you. In the kitchen, I can hear the sound of the kitchen knife cutting something. Sakura, Kesama, Hayaina. There's no time to be impressed. I have to get ready quickly and go help fix breakfast. Shiro, kyo dou suru no yo? Doyoubi da kara gogo wa arubaito? Ya, baito wa haitte nai yo. Issei no tokoro de nanka yatte ると omou keto, sore ga dou ka shita ka? Hmm, besu ni? Hima datta ra doujo no hou ni asobi ni kite kun nai ka na atte. Watashi, kongetsu pinch na no da. Ha, what's happening? Pinch te nani ga sa? お財布事情がピンチなの。誰かがお弁当を作ってくれると嬉しいんだけどな。God damn it, Fujine. 断る。自業自得だ。たまには一食ぐらい抜いた方がいい。ふーんで、シロウには期待してないもん。私が頼りにしてるのはさくらちゃんだけなんだから。ね、さくらちゃん。私と同じものでよろしければ用意しておきますね、先生。Stop abusing our poor Kohai. It's not, it's not right. Actually, no, she's, she's a student. It's still not right. Oh, okay, okay. じゃあ今日は一緒にお昼を食べましょう。Sakura, you shouldn't give in to her all the time. Breakfast continues as usual. Today, along with the usual, there's a simmered lotus fruit with chicken. I don't think she has to make anything this elaborate for breakfast, but I think she made a lot of it to take for lunch, too. Sakura is a member of the archery club, and Fujine is in charge of the archery club. It's natural for them to share lunches. Mm-hmm. Sure. Ujine looks at me, sipping her miso soup. Jeez, she's usually slow, but she gets sharp only at times like this. I saw my dream. The light was bad, but after that, I didn't have anything else. What? It's always the same. I'm fine. Ujine ends the conversation like she's not interested. I'm not worried at all about it either, so I shouldn't get mad about it. Ten years ago. I used to have nightmares back when I couldn't get the fire out of my mind. But I saw less of it as time passed, and I'm well over it now that I can let it slide out even after dreaming about it. But I guess it was pretty bad back then. This Fujine has been here since that time. She's sensitive to my change. Shiro, you have I don't have anything to do with the food. No, I don't have anything to do with the food. I don't have anything to do with the food. Okay, Shiro is strong, but I think I'll be a little bit more sensitive to it, my sister. Yeah, well, you go through some shit, you either crumble or become unhealthily strong. You either crumble or become unhealthily strong. Because that's the thing. そりゃこっちのセリフだ。もうちょっとカレンになってくれた方がいいぞ。弟分としては。We make fun of each other without looking at each other. That proves my liveliness, and Fujine laughs with relief. <laughs> to be honest, I'm glad she's worrying. But she'll be elated if I thank her. So I, I so I act like I'm discontented.
Sakura's just like, hmm? Not knowing the circumstances, Sakura looks puzzled at the way we're acting. It's fine, it's fine. After Fujine leaves, we lock the house and leave. お手伝いに来れませんけど、よろしいですかいや、yeah, yeah, we got it, Sakura. I don't know why you're freaking out over this. You just said it'd be natural for you to go play with your friends. Right? Just like, question mark, question mark, question mark. Sakura's acting suspicious, and she looks very tense. I don't know why, but I guess she just means she can't come over this weekend. Well, we can't exactly say no to that. Sakura looks relieved. And when she looks down, her face suddenly stiffens. Hmm? Sakura is staring at my left hand. She knows what that is though, doesn't she? Looking down at it, it's bleeding. Or, oh wait, no, I thought it was the... Mark, but maybe not. Oh, the Command spells. I pull up my sleeve. There's certainly blood there. What is that? But it doesn't hurt at all. Or maybe it is. There's just a welt on there. The welt goes straight from my shoulder down to the hand and looks kind of like a small snake running from my shoulder to my hand. I, mm, I don't know about this one, Shiro. Perhaps she's feeling bad from seeing the blood as Sakura looks away and falls silent. That was strange. Anyway, I'm going to do up there. And uh, next time we're going to go through... Shiro's third day, and this is also the same day where uh, the, the the shit goes down. Uh, so that'll be that'll be interesting. I don't know. Ah, I'm so I'm I'm awkward. Okay, but um, yeah. Anyway, I'll catch you guys. Uh, next time. Peace.